I think the important thing to understand when contacting your elected official is that they work for you. Sending that personal message, getting that phone call, setting up the meeting is really the best way to start building that relationship. And sometimes if it's uh, based around a particular issue, a lot of the stuff that we deal with at the county is sometimes spatially located. Invite people to meet you there. Um, come to see the park or the issue in the community. I think that's a really important way for us to get on the ground and get a better understanding of what's going on. And the more personal the communication, the more impactful it is. So. Uh, if I do still get a letter in the mail, which is pretty infrequent, it gets more attention than thousands of emails. I think that it's my responsibility to take the time to meet with my constituents. So if you have the time, I think requesting a personal meeting to have a conversation with your local elected official is the most impactful. What really resonates with me when I uh, meet with constituents is hearing those personal stories, hearing how the county's programs in particular are affecting them, both for the good and the bad. You know, we, we love hearing those positive stories, um, but we also need to know when, when we're falling short and when we need to, to make better decisions and, and, and change something we've been doing. I think making it personal, feeling, you know, that, that extra tug of this is an actual story from an actual person, I really can't recommend using the form letters. I think that's a great place to start, but at the top, add a paragraph that's that's personal to you. Why is this issue personal to you? Sometimes we do get messages yeah. that are copy and paste, and, and while I'm certainly keeping track of the count of that, um, I'll stop and read something that's more specifically tailored to uh, a, an experience that you've had. I've changed my mind based off of constituent feedback. Um, you know, one great thing about local government is so much of what we do is very tangible. So partisan politics don't often come directly into play. And I think that allows you a lot of latitude to, to really approach subjects without preconceived notions. I have absolutely had issues come up where my instinct was maybe leading me in one direction, but getting that constituent feedback has, had made me second guess and, and ultimately changed the way I voted on something. Constituent feedback has absolutely changed my mind on issues, and part of that has been just that ongoing kind of you know respectful dialogue of asking uh, tough questions. And it's my duty to then turn around and ask those questions and make sure that we've got the right answers. So really asking thoughtful questions, putting that together in a way that's um, organized, that's easy for somebody who's trying to learn a lot about about new issues, really helps navigate that process and make sure that good questions get asked. If I'm giving you one piece of advice when you are reaching out to, to any elected official is is don't start off with a combative attitude. <laughs> um, so often um, in, in our current environment I think people are just frustrated with government in general and and if they're taking the energy to reach out it's oftentimes out of anger. And it's really hard to find the common ground if the conversation starts off in a place of negativity. But if you're sincere in wanting to change the mind of the elected official you're approaching and if you're sincere in an effort to educate, even if there's a wide chasm between you and where you want the elected official to be, I have found, in my experience, it's more useful when, when you have that respectful dialogue. There can be a lot of different ways that I'm receiving information. I don't highly recommend um, necessarily using uh, Twitter DMs or Facebook. I think going, especially if that person is an elected official, going and finding their um, official email, which is very easy to find and starting there I think is a great place to start. I do a lot of engagement on my social media and I do try to get back to it but the truth is those can get buried. There's a lot of information coming in that way so it's sometimes hard to track. So if you have a specific question and you're looking for a specific answer about the next thing to do or how to get engaged on a particular issue, really for me email or phone is the best way to um, follow something through a little bit more thoroughly than social media messages. If you are going to approach your elected official and you, you want to affect how they are viewing policy. You need to know your argument um, and know it well, and, and also um, ensure that you're giving accurate and complete information. Because you never wanna give an elected official inaccurate information or, or share something that's not true, even if unintentional, because then that's gonna erode trust with you as an individual, but also make the elected official suspect of your entire side of the argument. Know your argument and never give misinformation. One of the things that is also true about the nature of some of the things we deal with is that they're complex. And so often we're out 
doing research, contacting other departments, trying to get background and really put together the information that's needed. And if you haven't heard from us, hopefully that's what's happening, but it's also, um, it's totally okay to follow up with a phone call, an additional email, or ask to set up a meeting to get the status of where things are. You deserve a response from your elected officials, absolutely. And if you've taken the step to contact them and you've not gotten feedback and you, you don't know where they stand on the topic you contacted them about, I mean, absolutely feel free to, to follow up. Um, give them another phone call, send another email. Um, you know, sometimes there's a lot of volume, especially on really controversial topics. And it might, it, it, best case scenario, you're not deliberately being ignored, um, but it can take time to get the responses back. But, but I will say in this sort of dynamic, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. As an elected person in this community, it's my absolute honor to represent you. And so the issues that you're having, the concerns that you're having are incredibly valid. It's important to kind of know your information, share that um, information, but share your stories too. Um, reach out to us and let us know what's going on in your community and how we can work to help.